They are bringing everything in right now, however. Let's get some harassment flames in. With a couple of bombers. And some gas for good measure. Are you ready? Boom! It's gone. Welcome everybody back to another Moist Tea Gaming episode where we will be finishing off the allies for good. This episode we will feature the end of the war. I will make sure of that. Meaning I will be moving on to the allies campaign on elite difficulty. I'm going to attempt to do this as quickly as possible. But just because we can also try to get to 1919 as there is a special event for it. In the last episode we attacked Absville and surrounded Montreal because of it. We we're probably just going to attack there again. The front lines are very thin everywhere else but it doesn't matter because the enemy don't like attacking anyway. For example, they don't attack again. Some events we have. The 100 Days Offensive begins. Ooh. Stretching all along the Western Front, the 100 Days Offensive was a series of battles, including our mains, Second Somme, and Moose Argonne, suffering from a lack of manpower, low morale, and with the brewing revolution at home, German forces were hard pressed combat the numerous allied attacks along the front. Allies were motivated to end the war as quickly as possible and were bolstered by a flow of fresh, though inexperienced, American troops. At the end, this offensive marked the last days of the war, with Germany finally sounding a armistice in November. Well, that isn't happening here, is it? They have just grabbed 47 more national will, which is quite annoying. As that wasn't actually happening in this scenario, is it? This also wants us to defeat three Belgian companies. So first of all, let's get Montreal smashed. Let's have a look at the research. What else can we possibly do? Someone asked me to have a look at the last gas innovation all this is is it reduces the cooldown improved gas shells that's all that does we have the most toxic gas available the mustard gas this is legit all it does is it just reloads quicker that's all it is just because i can i'm going to have the artillery spotting which increases the ability of the siege artillery and the shells as well which reduce the cost of the Siege artillery. We're certainly going to have all the bells and whistles to destroy the enemy with in the final days of this. Going to take Absville now with 30 infantry corps, 10 tank battalions, 6 elite infantry, 11 German air wings, and 7 siege artillery batteries. They don't stand. A cat and else chance. There's no way, even though it says a stalemate. This is the battlefield. If you saw it in the previous episode, we have all of our trench works all ready to go with this monstrosity of a fortress ready to go. I'm actually going to do some siege artillery just because I can. We can do 14 days worth of siege pre bottle bombardment with a 64% chance of destroying everything. And yes, I did do a video on Siege Artillery, and no, I still don't particularly like it. But, I mean, we've got all the supply in the world, we might as well. Here we go, thoroughly getting blat. Everything getting quite horribly smashed. All of this area, there's going to be nothing left. Lovely jubbly. Lots of things got blown to bits, but... 
Nothing too serious. Uh, we can have a look and see what the mess is, shall we? With our balloon, which is now rising, with the man actually facing. I oh, know it's not. I thought he was facing the right way then. Uh, let's have a look. All of these look rather tired. All these trenches, they must be done. The siege artillery hasn't actually wiped them out. Are these advanced trenches? I don't think they are. Regardless, they're still here. All of this is gone. Not too bad. Get some... Oh, they're going for my balloon straight away, I think. Need to make sure they don't do that. So let's get some air superiority <laughs> missions in straight away. Get the balloon down. Also get some more planes in for our own balloon busting mission. With more of our own air superiority missions in as well. We can even have a go at bombing some of the emplacements around here. And over here, just because we can. Let's get three of each in. They will move around and attack other things. We'll get around five over here, just because we can, with another set of air superiorities in as well. I want to get the balloon back up so we can see what is going on. They are targeting our... Oh, no, they're not. They can't attack the bombers. bombing everything. I need these planes gone. They're being a nuisance. Let's get the balloon back up. Hopefully it'll encourage them to wander around this way. Hopefully our aircraft will lock onto them. Yeah, there we go. So we have all of these being bombed. The artillery is being bombed. Balloon is gone. We have lots of things over here being Blown to bits. Now let's just get on with this, shall we? I'm not going to be too careful anymore. We've pretty much won the war. Just take care of the remaining things which are over here. Get them gone. No raiders there. We've got a couple of elites though. I'm not too bothered about that. We can help deal with the remaining entrenchments. These bombers are doing a lovely job. All the other bits are gone. It's not bad at all, really. The tanks needed gone as well. Let's just get a couple more in to help deal with these remaining things that we have. We've got some units going into the forest. They are having a scout around. And they are now dead. They do still have artillery. But it's only going to be one or two batteries, so it's not actually going to deal any significant damage. As you can see, there's only one or two shells coming down, and I'm not going to be scared by that. They are bringing everything in right now, however. Let's get some harassment planes in. With a couple of bombers. And some gas, for good measure. Let's gas that area out. We can even gas this area, which is right at the front front of their reinforcement section. Hopefully the tanks will destroy their tanks which they are now thoroughly doing. Yep, there we go. The enemy units are being smashed. They don't particularly like it. Let's get them further up now. The flames I don't think can touch the raiders. Raiders are now dead anyway. Let's just march them around. Let's get some of these troops running into this area. Hopefully the gas would have ran out by then and dissipated before we murder our own men. I think this confirms that the enemy... Well, that our tanks do not get hurt by our own gas, which is lovely. One of the tanks has just been destroyed. Let's just get a lot of whippet planes in for the hell of it. Let's just go mad on the planes because we can. All these areas are also asking for some plane action. Don't care about supply now. These are legit just the final days of the battle. Oh, I forgot about that. We could blow this thing up. Are you ready? Boom, and it's gone. <laughs> I do like them. 
It is quite entertaining. You must admit, though, that it is not the most efficient use of resources. That cost 500 supplies to do. All of this over here is just asking for some gas. Might as well, eh? Nothing else better to do right now. It's gassed a lot. Are they going to bring more units in? I don't even think they're going to do that, to be fair. Just gas it all. See if they just surrender. Or oh, the gas is going to decimate everything. Excellent. We've barely sent any troops in at this point. Surprised they haven't surrendered yet. We can move some units over. Just to capture them. Oh, there we go. Accept surrender. Yes, please. Easy done. We now have captured this area. Did we even lose anybody in that? No, I didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, no. Two grenadier casualties. Damn it. Never mind. Well, we made a profit. Murdered the enemy. And let's have a look at the map now. Enemy morale, even further down, we got that as well, which was to destroy three Whippet tanks. Excellent job. Montreal is now encircled. Excellent. Let's end the turn. They can't attack Calais anymore, so I can have the troops from Calais move to Abbsville and then continue murdering them at Armains, Arras, and... Villers Brotnox. That's probably awful. I do apologize. Let's end the turn quickly. Excellent. September. We have more research points, which we have nothing that we could do with. Unread events. The Americans have been like talking have been have taken a liking to the French tank, using them almost exclusively compared to the tank used by their British allies. Show them that tanks are useless. Well, they're not useless. It's just if you don't have enough of them, then they are useless. Move the units around. Calais is now empty. Hopefully the British don't decide to bring some reinforcements in or a naval invasion. But we just need to wait another turn so we can attack again. The enemy don't attack yet again. Let's have a look at the unread events now. Battle of Vittorio Veneto. The Italian army... Backed by French and British forces, assaulted the Austro-Hungarian army near the town of Vitoro, Benito. Both sides were suffering the effects of the Spanish flu and malaria, but the tremendous amount of artillery and aircraft soon overwhelmed the Austrians, forcing a retreat. As the Italian army continued its advance, the Austro-Hungarian army began to collapse, forcing the signing of the Armistice on 3rd of November. The Armistice came into effect the following day and not only ended the war on the Italian front, but also effectively ended the Austro-Hungarian Empire. For some reason we have more supply from this, as our ally has just gone, but okay. We have another locum black market in Morhange, which will not affect us anyway. They do have more units here, but I don't care enough. They're not going to attack. They just don't seem to like doing it. Research-wise, there's nothing that we really need. So I'm going to go for the pilot housing, which hopefully on the next turn, we can get the bomber improvements, which increases the damage of bomb weapons on all bomber aircraft. By 75%, meaning getting rid of the artillery should be significantly easier. We'll also get more supply just because of having the airfield there. Excellent job. Just going to end the turn and watch Montreal fall. Because I want to get to November and actually get there to 1919 before the Allies. Just so that we get the achievement. There we go. November 1918, gold reserves have gone up and everything else. The enemy have... Oh, wow, okay. The enemy have seven national will. The war has taken a toll on everyone. The people at home just wanted to end and the willingness to support the further struggle is waning. Penalty, both factions will lose 100 national will each turn until the game ends. That 
is ridiculous. Let's have a look at the other one. German Revolution, the failure of the spring offensive. There was no failure. Heavy losses at the front and growing food shortages sparked civil conflict within Germany. The unrest began with the Navy when officers wanted to commit to a last ditch battle with Britain. Sailors rebelled and mutiny eventually spread across much of the fleet. This led to civil unrest across, across the country. Until a proclamation was made dictating that the imperial monarchy would be replaced by a republic. In response, Kaiser Wilhelm II remembered, remembering the fate of the Russian Tsar, abdicated his throne and fled to Holland. The unrest continued into 1919 until the first elections occurred to adopt the Weimar Constitution. Interesting. So we've got unrest at home, people have had enough thoroughly. We can legit just end the turn and see if we can get to 1919. See what happens. We've got an enemy spy, structures disabled in Haysbrook, that's fine. Are they going to attack? The no. armies of the German ah. Empire, the finest fighting force the world had ever seen, was victorious. As in the Franco-Prussian War before it, the German army crashed through the French lines. In spite of their tenacity, the British were pushed back to the sea. As artillery thundered across Paris, its leaders conceded, prone at the feet of the Kaiser. The Entente Alliance was no more. History would forever be changed. Germany now emerged as a nation powerful enough to shape the modern world, stripping the Allies of their colonies and building their own. Galvanized by victory, this new superpower would shape the world for years to come. Just how far would its ambition take it? We've done it again. We have smashed the enemy and are victorious. Campaign victory. We didn't quite get to 1919, which is an achievement I would have wanted, but never mind. Still don't get a total casualties list, which I was hoping that we would. We did, however, smash through lots of things. Right. This means now I will do the Allies campaign on Elite Difficulty. That is the next mission. Make sure to stick around. I will also be covering one or two other games at the same time. I hope you enjoy them. Thank you for all of your continued support to this day. It's seriously been much appreciated. I do have a Discord. Be sure to click on it. It is very fresh and new. So please be nice to it. You are all welcome to come and join. If you were to become a member of the channel for as little as £1 a month, you'll get special perks on what I'm going to be planning on doing and at least a thing on the Discord which shows that you are a member. And I will give priority for you for your financial support. Thank you very much if that is something that you end up doing. Not only would you be supporting me and assisting me to help create better quality videos and more frequently, but you will be recognised on the channel publicly for your support and on Discord as well, which can be accessed. You'll also get some special perks which I am gradually increasing. Please have a look if you do have time. Again, thank you, and I will see you in the next episode. Thank you very much.